Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Wednesday because I wasn't here yesterday. But today is my 107th, I have to look because, yeah, 107th floss tube. Today is January 19th, 2022. And here we are. Yeah, yesterday I was just not feeling good. I stayed home from school, work. I almost said school. Stayed home from work and I didn't get much accomplished yesterday at all whatsoever. Yeah, it, it was just a very bleh day. So, yep, but I'm feeling much better today. I don't know if it was something I ate. I have no idea what the heck was going on. So, here we are. We're here on Wednesday, so we're just going to make it work, right? Well, last week was not too terribly busy. It just, I don't know. It, the whole week kind of got away from me. I did five reviews, people. Five different reviews for five different companies. And we had two starts. I know. Unheard of for me. I'm just not in the start mode. I mean, I did European Town, of course, but, you know, it, it's just like, no, I, I, I'm good with what I got right here. Yeah, but that that's that's great. So the only thing I started last week was European Town, which we have a special, and it's going to be every Saturday that I work on it. So as you can see from the back, that's all the stitching that I gotten done. Just working it one color at a time. Let me see. I'm going to kind of fold it back on itself just so you can see. There we go. So I'm just kind of working my way across here, you know, one thread, one color at a time. Just, I get out a, a full thread and I work it until it's done. So I'm starting to put some stuff into the house, which is nice, and working on the trees. And this kind of went all the way down to here, just using up that one thread and then I'll get me another one. So, yeah, that, so are you working on yours? Because I've worked on this, let's see, I started it on Saturday, so I did it on the live, I did it on that, and so Sunday, Monday, and a little bit of Tuesday, I didn't feel like doing too much, it was like I couldn't concentrate, you know, so I just didn't stitch a lot yesterday at all. But it's coming. It, it it's and I like it that it's short this way. You know, it's not too long, and the you don't have to do the background. It's not a full coverage. I love that part. I just absolutely love that part. And in between all that, I did a little bit on my hibiscus. So I got all the way across. I don't know if you can see that it's shiny. I'm trying to fold it in half here. It's sparkly, but it's turned out really pretty. But here again, I just did a little bit of it, kind of finished up like this corner, and then I started in over here, and it was just a matter of setting. You know, I didn't want, I'm trying to figure out where to set this. Yeah, because I'm just going to lay it down here for right temporarily. Normally, it wouldn't be that close to the floor. And the other thing that I started was this really pretty one with the birdhouses that I got from uh, Let Me DIY. I just think it's beautiful. I had to look and see who it was from. But yeah, it's just really pretty. But there again, I didn't, I don't know, just didn't get much done. And you really can't see it unless I turn it. There we go. That's how much is done of it because it's that light, I don't know, it's like a pale yellow green, pale, pale yellow green, but I wanted to kind of knock that off so I could like concentrate in this area, and then I lost steam and momentum, and yeah, that was as much as that got done. I didn't work on my big yellow one, I don't think, last week at all, 
And the other one that I worked on, hang on, i got to find a home for everything. Stay. Oh, there's my other clip. I was looking for that. This comes in really handy. I like it. The other one's over there. I have been working on, if I can get all the strings out of the way. This is my Peking lady. I got her, the outlines of her eyes done. And a little more up on top. You can kind of see where the threads are at. Just, just working on it a little bit at a time. I was kind of working on it more so before I started uh, European Town. I kind of had to have something to to stitch on. So, yeah. I know it's odd. This is going to be like the shortest floss tube day ever. Yeah. What can I say? That was all I worked on this past week. Just kind of here and there and I'd pick it up and do a thread or two. And But those are like the ones I've been concentrating on. And since I got European Town, I just keep doing one thread a day or maybe two. It just depends. Like now yesterday didn't happen at all. So, yeah. Yeah. So, for this week, I have no idea what's going on. I do have my winter cup. Got my bear. And he purdy. And there's this little paw print. Inside, I love this cup. It's huge, though. I'm always paranoid I'm going to drop it and spill it all over all these pre-stamps. Yeah. But when I'm sitting down, we're good. It's not a walk around and hold and talk to people cup because it's just too much. And I don't even fill it to the top because, you know, stuff happens with me. Yeah, it always happens. So, this week I have no idea. I'm going to keep working on European Town and whatever else, you know, jumps in my face. I really, hang on, I'm trying to get my little bucket, you know, for the, the thing. Um... I really wanted to work on my Bristol Orphanage sampler, and that didn't happen. Yesterday happened, and it was like, okay, never mind. You know, I don't know. I was just feeling like, I don't know. Everything just, just we're done. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what happened. I just, I don't know. My stomach hurt for a little bit. Had to use the restroom a couple times. I laid down. It wasn't like I could sleep. So I waited till about one o'clock and then took like a two hour nap. I just, I don't know. Beats me. I don't know what happened, but it seems to be gone now. So here we are. I know it's not very light outside, is it? I'm, I'm glad that there's no light shining because it's kind of a cloudy, cold, Burr type of day. It's maybe 27. Oh, let me see. I don't know. It was. There we go. 22. 22. And there's no wind. And it may or may not snow. It was like a 1% chance. Sometimes when we get 1 to 2% chance of snow, it snows like 6 inches. Just saying. That could happen. All right, let's get along to the giveaway. So the first one is winter. And it's a Joy Sunday Junior, but it is a lovely kid. It's in one of these lovely, lovely bags. I got this from uh, DIY Shoes. But isn't it pretty? Just beautiful. So I have my little container with the word winter on it. Give it a rattle shake. Really? So I have a name in my hand. Let's put the lid ah. back on because stuff happens all the time. Put that there. And the winner, winner of 
winter, wow, say that three times fast, is Brenda Duell. D-E-U-E-L. Brenda Duell, if you can send me an email with uh, your name and address, I will ship that out. And I'm planning on doing shipping this weekend on Saturday. Hopefully that'll get taken care of Friday or Saturday. It depends. One of those two days because we need to do that. All right. And the next one for the giveaway. I'm getting there, people. I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get the page. This is for the Peking lady that I got two of. Put that back in there because whoever wins it would like to have that little picture. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And I got this from somebody last week and I can't remember who it was. So, this one says Peking. I hope I'm showing it to you right side up when I do that. So, let's give it a shake. There were lots of you. Let's give it a big old shake and grab a name. I have a name. Let me put the lid back on just because. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? <laughs> She's being silly. I'll show you in a minute. And the winner of this one is Anna Burdick. Anna Burdick. I hope that's how you say your name. If not, I'm so sorry. Let's see. Whoops. I'm sorry. Sometimes it gets too close. Come on. Focus. Focus, focus. All right. So, Anna... And, is it Brenda? Yeah, Anna and Brenda, send me your, your name. Um, send me your shipping address, and I will get that shipped out this week, hopefully. So what do we have for the giveaway for next week? <coughs> so, the next week one is butterflies and the pink flowers pretty just scream spring i just love those pink flowers i haven't seen many of those you know when i was when we ran around in kansas we'd just take off and go up and down country roads and crap but i've never seen any pink ones like that you know unless it was in somebody's garden or perhaps like at a nursery or something but out in the wild i've never seen them like that but they're just so beautiful. We'd always see like the um like daisies. I don't know if they're daisies or daisies and lazy Susan. Or is that right? I don't know. You know what I mean. The yellow ones with the brown center. But these are really pretty. And this is a 14 count, 17 by 19. I don't know what that is. And if you would like to do this, put the word butterfly in the comment section. And the next one is a 14 count. It is 18 by 26. And it says the summer of four, the summer of four seasons outside the window. So this is the summer version. So put the word summer. And the word butterfly. We'll talk about spring. I mean, we can always dream, right? Because, yeah, I am. I'm ready for spring. I, I know, winter just started, and we haven't gotten a whole bunch of snow. And It is what it is, guys. I just, I, I'm glad it's not snowing. Uh, usually, we would have tons of snow, you know, sometimes from... Oh, maybe about November-ish. You know, it, seriously, you got to do that now. What are you doing? Hang on. I don't know if I can get it. 
she's getting in her little hidey hole over here next to Sydney. Sorry. Okay. Oh, now I got it too clear up. There we go. So, yeah, she's just trying to find a hole over here. So, yeah. But usually, like I started to say, we'd have lots of snow. Like, it would just be there, and then it wouldn't, and then it'd snow again, and you'd have it for, like, maybe two or three days. It depends on what it actually got up and down to, but we've gotten maybe, I think the most we ever got was four inches this year, so far, at one time, and that is unprecedented. I, I don't know. And some years we have more snow than others, so... Hopefully, that doesn't mean we're going to have a hot, hot summer, because, well, I mean, you're at 8,000 feet, so we're a little closer to the sun, so, yeah, it's hot for us, <coughs> so, I mean, when I say hot, sometimes it gets in the 90s here, but, I mean, we don't have a lot of humidity and that kind of thing, so, not real worried, but, yeah just weird so I don't know what my plan I don't have any plans for next week I just I don't know what to say I wish I did I don't know I get kind of stagnant in the winter you know in the summer and spring and everything's going on and I got places to go with my daughter who is still doing fine I appreciate all your your thoughts and prayers yeah she's got to go back to the doctor on Thursday so we'll see what happens I don't know. She claims she's a little bit better, so we'll see. We'll see. But, you know, it, like I started to say, in the spring, I'm scattered. I'm everywhere today. Um, in the spring, in the summer, we like to get out and walk around and go places and run to Walmart, you know, because you don't have to fight the snow or the rain or or anything. You know, it's just some place to go and something to go look at and yeah, it's just been kind of helter-skelter here. So, yeah. We will see what this week brings. So, don't forget to uh, put either summer or butterflies. I guess it's butterfly. There is only one butterfly. Why I was looking to see if there was two because it says butter flies over flowers mm -hmm. and I should worry yeah at least I'm not messed up so anyway that's all I got going that's all I got for you this week hopefully next week we can do a little more I, I just hope it goes not faster, but just so that I can do things. I don't know. I got nothing, people. What can I say? You know, we'll get there one way or another, and we will have European Town stitch along always on Saturday. So I'll have that video out, and we'll do a live at 2 o'clock. So join me. If you'd like to stitch on it, there is no, no time limit, not whatsoever, just whenever you get it done, you get it done, it, there, there's no, I, I don't work on a schedule, and I'm not going to break that thing down so that you do, like, one week you do this much, and one week you do, it'd probably be the smart thing to do, but I'm so not that person, because I can't keep up with that, yeah, no not happening all right guys well thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye keep stitching